So what I'm getting in the energy that's coming up, there's going to be some rumors spread about you. Some kind of nasty, vicious things, option number three. That's what I feel like with that. Because these are people that are disgruntled. They're upset because you've pulled your energy away. And they're upset they can no longer use you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today's video reading is What's the current gossip on you? We're going to take... Um, a look at what's the current energy surrounding you concern, concerning the gossip, who's gossiping about you and why, and what's the future gossip that you, you know, might need to be aware of this week ahead. All right, so you have three options to choose from, but before I get into which option is which, I'd like to thank all of you who are subs to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're brand new, please hit that sub button as well as the bell notification because I do drop videos weekly. Thank you to all of you all who keep me booked and busy. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, same day read, walking read, or priority reading, please check that pink comment below as well as the description box below. And follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Threads at Winery Sparrow Tarot and my other YouTube channel, Winery Sparrow Do. Pin comment below as well as the description box below. Without further ado, y'all, let's just jump into our reading. So three options to choose from. Option number one, option number two, option number three. Again, option one, option two, option three. Pause the video. See which of these options you feel resonate with you the most. And then come back when you're absolutely ready for your answer. So option number one, what's the current energy surrounding you? We have the temperance card, Sagittarian energy. Temperance is an energy that talks about taking out time, taking out space, needing grace for something to pass. Option number one, you could be at a point where I feel like you're on the other side of the storm. Maybe things were a bit tumultuous for you prior to, you know, the season that we're currently in, the season of fall. And I feel like, you know, just like how fall is the harvest time, you know, maybe this is you waiting for your ships to come in, you know, waiting for, you know, ready to, to, to make the harvest. Essentially taking time to cultivate something better. I feel like maybe you've removed yourself from a very, you know, hostile environment. Give me more information, universe, prayer guides, and ancestors. Option number one, for whatever reason, I feel like you did not have the best summer. It may have been a bit wild, a bit all over the place. Universe, spirit guides. Somebody here is battling uh, child support. That's what I'm getting with that one. Or there's a custody battle. Give me more information, universe, spirit guides, and ancestors. What's the current energy surrounding option number one? Passive. Number one. And class, give me two more cards. We have the Eight of Wands that came out in the upright. We have the Tower card in the reverse. Option number one, I definitely see you surrounded by uh, your support system at this point in time. I do feel like you have somebody coming towards you from a distance. It could be family, it could be friends coming in to support. But definitely, like what I was saying, how I feel like summer may have been something, you know, kind of all over the place for you. I don't feel like you're out of the woods yet with the tower card. Tower card being more Sagittarius energy. So I definitely feel like you can either be a Sagittarius or maybe, you know, persons involved in, you know, in your life very heavy right now, Sagittarius. But I do feel like this is either, you know, after the storm or the calm, you know, in the middle, in the eye of the storm. Because it does feel like more has to happen in order for things to clear, to be completely cleared out in your life. Universe, clear guys, and interest, channel messages. What's the current gossip on option number one? So someone here is definitely going through some type of child custody or child support or just there's arguments surrounding the child. Universe, clear guys, and interest, thank you for channel messages. So choose option number one. Prince of Swords. Option number one. The Empress. Yeah. There's something to do with the kid here. Current gossip. Option number one is surrounding, yeah, some type of, you know, I don't want to call it a battle. And not necessarily a fight, but there's negotiations here when it comes to a child with a relationship for others of you the gossip is definitely a little bit a lot more happy 
the gossip is surrounding a relationship that's forming, you possibly being pregnant, option number one. Option number one, what I'm also getting in regards to the gossip, you could also be getting in the midst of. So this doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, you going through a child support battle or a, a, a child custody situation. It could be the person that you're dating currently going through that situation. Because for some of you, I do feel like you're you're amongst it, but it's not necessarily your drama. Once again, your summer was less than ideal and it could be because you were dealing with issues of a loved one of a partner. Death card in the upright Scorpio energy and the King of Swords in the reverse. Definitely the good news that I have for you, option number one, is that this it, that this issue has a definite resolve that's going to work in your favor. So for those of you that is looking to get custody, looking to get child support, it is going to go in your favor. For those of you that's dealing with a partner that's going through this issue, the situation is going to go in their favor. They're going to be able to have shared custody or child support, and it's not going to get in the way of your relationship. Now, I do feel like there's going to be still drama within this connection or surrounding the circumstances. And definitely, I don't feel like that's something that's going to end overnight. However, though, it is going to work in your favor. So who's gossiping about you? This is a family matter, and it feels like the opposing family that's gossiping about you. Let's get more energy. Universe Spirit Guides and Ancestors, those who chose option number one. Who's gossiping? Who's gossiping about them and why? Give me two cards. Who's gossiping about them and why? Give me two cards. Who's gossiping about them and why? Judgment in the upright Scorpio energy. Pisces energy. This person can be a water sign. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is the family. This is either the former partner or for some of you, yeah, this is the mother figure. Of the opposing family. That's what I'm getting with that one. Because it's a lot of anger. Look, four of wands in reverse. It's the relationship that went disarray. You all, there's a lot of anger that I'm feeling off of this energy. A lot of, you know, just kind of, why are you doing this? Why are things difficult? That's what I'm getting with that one. And I feel like this isn't even... This is definitely not even a shock that the family of the opposing side is what's arguing or not just what they are arguing with you is what is is who rather is who you know who's gossiping option number one i feel like you already know this like honestly like if i'm real about this option or one this one like it, just, it this was like such a lackluster vibe because i feel like this is something that you already know this is just more of the same that you're going through for some of you that you, that came here. This isn't your story at all. I always say take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. But this is definitely a very personal reading for a specific group, specific people. That's what I'm getting with this one. This one feels more personal. Option number one, that's what I'm getting with that one. Like, you definitely are in an energetic space where you're fighting with the, uh, not with a loved one, but, but over a loved one. That's what I'm getting with that one. And some of you, this isn't you in this battle, but you're caught up. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let me just get the weekly messages in option number one. I'm going to move on to option number two because I really feel like this is not coming as a surprise for those that are dealing with this. Maybe the part about things working out in your favor, but let's see. Tell me about the week ahead. Now, I'm doing this uh, September 24th. So this is September 24th through October what is it? Second. So let's see. Universe, fair guys, and ancestors. The week ahead, what can option number one expect when dealing with the situation? The week ahead, what can option number one expect when dealing with the situation? The week ahead, what can option number one? We have the emperor in the upright. I don't know, for whatever reason, some of you all might have a visit from uh, law enforcement coming through or some type of summons or some type of um, letter from law enforcement. That's what I'm getting with that one. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I see you being focused this week. And then we have the hair fine in the reverse. Um, yeah, I'm sure number one, I don't see this week being, you know, just the most ecstatic and, you know, breezy. I do see you being in better spirits though. So I don't want you to think like, oh, you're going to be in a crap mood. 
this entire time this week. However, though, I do see your focus mainly being on work, kind of like, you know, putting that focus, putting that discipline there in order to just kind of, you know, take your mind off of things that's happening in your relationship life. Hair Fine and Reverse tells me you might be in an energetic space where you don't really trust those around you. You're still very skeptical. Uh, however, this too shall pass. That's what I have for you, option one. So you all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Book a private reading, coaching, send reading, walk away, priority reading. Check the pick out below as well as the description box below. And let's move on to option number two. Option number two. You have the Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands is a fantasy energy. Option number two. The energy surrounding you. You could have been daydreaming a lot as of recent maybe fantasizing Ooh, i got it. i already got it for some of you you've been fantasizing about moving on to a different job you've been fantasizing about moving in general now i know i get this message a lot but that's because a lot of you watch these readings and you all are in different you know periods in life for some of you you are fantasizing about that next step that you are about to take that's what i'm getting with that one for others of you this is fantasy surrounding a crush that's what I'm getting with that. Fantasy surrounding a crush or someone that likes you. Give me two cards. Universe, for guys, ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. What's the current gossip on option number two? And who's gossiping? What's the current gossip? Option number two, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you've been fantasizing about family. Option number two, you may have been really making an effort to go out and find a partner. That's what I'm getting with that one. But that's a lot of desperate energy that I'm feeling coming off of your energy. Option number two, lots of desperate energy. And I feel like this is what the gossip is. Now, here's the thing. Who's gossiping about you? I can tell you this right, around, right now. The gossip is coming from inside of the house. It feels like friends and it feels like family members that you hang out with like friends. So this could be a close cousin, a close sibling, you know, a brother, sister, what have you. And this could be, you know, maybe even an aunt, uncle, parent that you hang out with that you're very close to. Um, for some of you, this is your niece. That's what I'm getting with that. Like your niece is, is basically the same age as you or in the same age bracket. But yeah, give me more information. Option number two. What's the current passive? Or option number two, two of swords in the upright. Ten of swords in the reverse. Definitely, I feel like option number two, this has to do with essentially you making the efforts towards, for some of you, towards your love life, for others of you, towards your work life. But the energies that's coming off of you is what people are gossiping about because it feels like a desperate attempt to move forward, to move on towards something, to get away from something. And this is what people are gossiping about. Not that you're trying to find a family, not that you're trying to find a new job, but more so like you're desperate. Like the energy that you're doing it in is for validation as opposed to, I'm just looking for my partner. I'm just looking for this new job. No, I'm desperately looking for this because of what it's gonna make me look like, of what it's gonna, what I'm gonna be able to tell people based on what this makes me look like. I'm hearing the um, words calm down, option number two, LOL. Because I feel like those who are gossiping about you kind of feel like, you know, just calm down, let yourself be in a state of flow. That's what I feel that those of you who may have gotten this pile, those that are gossiping, you, gossiping about you feel like maybe you're not allowing life to be in a state of flow right now. Give me more information, universe, for that's the answer. That's just kind of gossip. On option number two, that's the kind of gossip. On option number two, we have the three of cups in the upper. That's the kind of gossip. On option number two, that's the kind of gossip. On option number two, we have the moon card. I see that you've been going out a lot, maybe lately. Uh, definitely people feel like, like, I feel like, you know, this is funny. So you may have been posting about this a lot to um, option number, let's say option number three. I feel like I said option number three, but we're on option number two. You might have been posting a lot on social media, option number two. And I feel like this is how people are seeing, like, wow, they're like really out there a whole lot more. Uh, yeah, the energy, they feel like your energy is giving off desperation and need for validation, insecurity. That's what this is. Like you're very much so trying to rush a process. That's what I'm getting with that one. Now, option number two, yours is more so coming from the energy of I'm not trying to rush a process. I'm trying to finally get the ball going. Three of swords in reverse. Some of you, you're finally at a heartbreak. 
Three of Swords reverse, you're finally at a position where you feel healthier and happier. So you're trying to get the ball rolling. You're trying to jump right back in. Lover's card in the earth ray. For some of you, you are trying to get the attention of somebody in particular. That's what I'm getting with that one. For others of you, you're trying to make the decision of moving on from someone or something or maybe, you know, an energy that you are used to hanging on to in order to find someone new or something new. That's what I'm getting with that one. For some of you, the universe is presented to you exactly what you wanted in a partner or in work. And you just, it's all about you changing your perspective and being grateful. That's what I'm getting with that one. But people essentially are gossiping about you not being satisfied. So let's see who's gossiping about you and why. Who's gossiping about option number one? I'm sorry, option number two and why? Give me two cards. Who's gossiping about option number two and why? Give me two cards. Who's gossiping about option number two and why? We have the three of pentacles. People that you work with, or this could be a work friend. That's what I'm getting with that one. Strength card in the upright. We have Leo, Leo energy here. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So the person, these are friends, but this person could be a fire sign. They could be a Leo. They could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. There's also some jealousies here. Option number two between you and a friend, Earth sign. I feel like you all are on the same level, but competing unbeknownst. That's what I'm getting with that one. Nine of Swords in the reverse. We have air sign energy with that uh aquarius uh what is the rest aquarius libra and y'all forgive me i'm literally doing this reading um at the crack of dawn at the day that i'm recording this but you got aquarius libra and gemini now i feel like this air sign energy it's not gossip it's more so out of concern like you know i hope so and so is okay i hope that this isn't you know I hope that there's not something else going on underlying. That's what I'm getting with that. I'm feeling a lot of compassion coming off of that energy. However, though, there are some jealousies coming off of this Leo energy. And there's some competition energy coming off of the uh, Earth side energy. That's what I'm getting with that one. So why are they gossiping about option number four of coins? Overall, it is giving concern. We have what's that, the Princess of Pentacles. Now, this is an interesting. Four Pentacles in the upright. For some, for some of you, this has to do with control. That's what I'm getting with that one. Wanting to control you. Um, and a lot of times, you all, when someone's trying to control you and not their own life, it's because they're lacking control within their own life. So this is kind of, I told you, there's competition here with, with an earth sign. So this is trying to keep up with you in a way. So kind of controlling your moves, kind of trying to keep up with you in a way. Or secretly wanting to see you not get what you want. Wanting to see you fail. Princess of Pentacles in the reverse. Secretly not wanting to see you get what you want. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see about your week ahead. Universe, Spirit, God's ancestors, what can option number two expect in their week, upcoming week? Give me two cards. What can option number two expect in their upcoming week? We have the seven of pentacles in the upright. We have the six of pentacles in the reverse. Option number two, uh, if you have been hardcore out there going towards your dating life or your work life, I do see you getting some type of interview or date this week. Now, there's a high likelihood of you getting this job or being able to cultivate this date into further dating. However, though, everything's not what it seems. There's this large dissatisfaction that I feel in your energy. Option number two in real life is even if this is the person that the universe is saying, give this a shot or the job that the universe is saying, give this a shot. I don't feel you being satisfied. You're going to run this thing away. Because I feel like your energy is always looking for something. No, I can do better. I can get better. I can do better. When really, this is self-sabotage. That's what I'm getting with that. Um, a lot of you are going to self-sabotage this interview and or job offer or this date and or potential love match. You're going to pinpoint or not pinpoint, but you're going to nitpick rather things that you don't like. This isn't what I said I wanted. This isn't da 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 da, da. They don't got this. They don't. It's going to be very shallow things. It's going to be things that can change. You know, like, ooh. I don't like the way that person's hair is cut. You know, really, hair's, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? You know, mm, this job isn't, you know, that person over there in reception, just a little too friendly for me. You know, honestly, option number three, this is more of the concern. Why are you nitpicking? Why are you self-sabotaging? What are you afraid of? Self-sabotage, nitpicking is rooted in fear. What are you afraid of? Like, I see you getting what you want, but I see you pushing it away. That's what that is. The world card in reverse. What do you need to deal with? 
the world card in reverse, karmic energy. What do you need to deal with? What do you need to get rid of? Why are you self-sabotaging? What are you really afraid of? Why are you looking for the perfect portrayal of what others expect out of you? When others ain't pooping what you eat, others not bleeding your blood, others ain't paying your bills, and maybe they are, but the others you're trying to impress aren't. That's what I'm saying right here. So that's what I got for you, option number two. You all let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll be part of the reading coaching, send every walk and be priority reading. And let's move on to option number three. Option number three, you have the devil card in the reverse. The gossip about you is you've either gotten over something. Um, for some of you, you've gotten clean from an addiction. That's what I'm getting with that one. For some of you, it's as serious as you got your life together. You may have, you know, put down... Uh, Things that you might have been addicted to. For some of you, that's gaming, controlled substances, food, things of, of all natures. And this might have also caused you to pull back from people that you were close to because those were people that perpetuated that lifestyle for you. That's what I'm getting with that one. Give me more information. Universe, fair out the ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. What's the current gossip on option number three? Give me two cards. What's the current gossip on option number three? We have the seven of wands. Yeah, option number three, people are gossiping about you getting your life together in a major way. You might have lost weight. They're looking younger and more youthful. Definitely for some of you, there's drug usage here or drug uses in the past. You've stopped that. Give me more. What's the current gossip? Option number three, Prince of Swords in the reverse. You also have stepped back from people. Like I said, you stepped back from people. You haven't been talking to people. People have been wondering, like, why, you know, what's going on with option number three? Why aren't they talking to us? They're bad influence. Um, seven of swords in the upright. People feel like you're keeping something from them. Like, you're keeping something from them. You're lying to them. Or um, for some of them, they can feel your energy pulling away. They feel like, you know, like like you're trying to keep up with, you know, like you're, like you're trying to put on some type of facade in order to pretend that maybe you're closer to them than you are at this point in time we have the four of cups yeah people you are ignoring calls you have abruptly pulled your energy now for some of you option number three you're dealing with maybe some depression some feelings of sadness or you just need time to yourself to figure things out and you know folks in your life may not be understanding of that i do feel like option number three you may have had or may have a whole bunch of energy vampires around you at current or people who always want something me 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 see even with this four of cups this one cup is filled one two three how are you going to fill all these cups up to what they're expecting when you only have the one for yourself that's what i'm getting with that one so option number three you're definitely ignoring people because it's like i can't right now leave me alone but this is what they're gossiping about that you are separating yourself from them for some of them they feel like you think you're better than them and that's what that is Universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors, thank you for the channel messages. It's the current gossip on option number three. Give me two cards. It's the current gossip on option number three. Six of cups. Ace of wands. Eight of cups. Rebirth. Option number three, for some of you, they're gossiping about, I don't know if you found, like, a new religion or if you joined a new group or congregation of some sort but definitely they're gossiping about you choosing uh to spend time with other people other friends or that you have new best friends or new people that you're you know close to uh for some of you this is your partner is feeling neglected because you're spending more time with friends family uh basically i'm getting that people feel that there's an old group of people that you are around that suited your energy option number three that you're now detaching yourself from. You may have ghosted people without any explanation. That's what I'm getting with that one. But it's really giving, like, I just, I cannot. We're not on the same level. Give me more information. Universe, good guys, and ancestors. What's the current gossip? Well, option number three, give me two cards. Who's gossiping and why? Who's gossiping and why? What's the current gossip? Who's gossiping and why? What's the current gossip? Who's gossiping and why? Magician card in the reverse. And then we have the High Priestess in the reverse. You have a Pisces, you have a Virgo. You can have an Aries, uh, or Gemini rather. Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, that's gossiping about you in particular. 
These are people that once had control over you. They're gossiping because you've gotten wise. Option number three, you've pulled back your resources. You pulled back your time. You've pulled back your efforts and your energy. These are people that were never your friends or family members who never had your best interests at heart. And they're gossiping because basically they feel slighted. But they feel slighted because they're no longer able to take advantage of you. And they feel like maybe you're what they were able to get out of you, you're giving to somebody else. That's what I'm getting with that. And they're very much so right. You are giving it to somebody else, Prince of Pentacles. You're giving it to yourself. And you're giving it to energies that is reciprocal to yours. That's what I'm getting with that one. And you're giving it to new friends, new family, new energies. That's what I'm getting. So option number three, this is family primarily. Like I said, I got a Pisces, I got a Gemini, I got a Virgo, super strong. However, though, what they're feeling is essentially you pulling yourself away and you I don't feel your energy coming back, option number three. I don't feel you coming back towards them. So what I'm getting in the energy that's coming up, there's going to be some rumors spread about you, some kind of nasty, vicious things, option number three. That's what I feel like with that. Because these are people that are disgruntled. They're upset because you've pulled your energy away. And they're upset they can no longer use you. Give me more information, Universe, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors. Tell me about option number three is week ahead. What do they have to look forward to this week? Option number three, gossip this week. What are they? What's going on for option number three, gossip this week? Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of swords in the upright. Option number three, I feel you fighting with your future and your past. There's some restrictions here because there's things that I feel coming up for you this week that you have to, you know, kind of pay attention to to kind of untie your hands from. There's some old trauma and some old wounds coming up from the people that you've gotten yourself away from. However, for a lot of you, you're in a loving relationship right now or you're embarking upon a loving relationship, whether this is romantic or with new friends, you know, or other family who have your best interests at heart. I do see you leaning very heavy into those connections this week um, with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel soulmate energy surrounding you. Option number three. So once again, people that are truly in your corner, but I do feel that there's going to be triggers that arise for you this week. Option number three, that you just have to make sure that you, you know, work on and work through. That's what I got for you. Option number three. You all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Look at private reading coaches. I need to be walking me private reading. And I thank you all so much. Peace and blessings. Bye.